here in Chicago, and I really hope you guys are all having an awesome week. I know it's hump day, and I hope as I really focus on my topic for today that you guys are really enjoying your week, and you're really present and embodied and loving your midweek so that you're not just working for the weekend, so you're not just working to get to this end goal and missing all the good stuff in between. So the title of this today, I had thought about it, was it's called Human Becomings, and I've been really interested lately in talking about transitions, and especially with this conversation that I'm in here at Viva Prana, where we're embodying both styles of a linear and a radial, where, where the community is holding space for both styles of these two different um, systems of yoga to live in one under one roof. I'm really interested in, in one of the things that I really love about the Bowspring system, which is transitioning and how important transitions are. I just want you to think about a time when you were really desiring something, you wanted it so badly, and once you finally got it, you got there and you realized it wasn't all that great to begin with, or it gave you just a moment of satisfaction before you wanted something else, or before you were onto another transition or on to another desire. But there was something else that in that experience of reaching for that desire, of having that wanting and, and going for that desire that created a change in you, that created a transformation. And it was in that transition that you were really alive. And then when you got to that end game, it really wasn't about the end game to begin with. One of the things that I really have experienced in my own life recently was is still becoming who I think I am, becoming who I have always wanted to be. And it's not just wake up one day and you have everything you want, but even this process of me being in front of the camera and putting myself out there, honestly, it's not for you guys. It's more for me to practice, to put myself out there, to be in comfort with my own image and with my own voice being out there in the world in a different way. And this process is me becoming the next evolution of myself. The reason this has become so much more real in my life, especially in the last couple of weeks, is because of this experience of moving into a shape. Not just getting into the shape, specifically a pose or a posture that maybe you've tried to get to for a really long time. I used to tell students all the time that when you get into a yoga posture, there's no fireworks there, there's no party, there's no celebration, there's only more work to do. And if we can really think about this as, a, as an opportunity for us to practice this moving towards something instead of getting there and being there and only wanting that, but rather the transition into the experience of the journey, right? The transition into the experience of the next version of you or the next version of some posture. In Bowspring, there is so much in the form, in the, in the shape of the posture that is about the creation, that is about coming into the posture. When you, for example, create radiant heart for yourself, there's something that happens as you swell and push from inside, there's something that happens to you that allows you to expand just in that transitioning to fill the heart up. And then once you're there, there isn't a party, there isn't a fireworks show, but there is an experience of you in a different way. We have something, and we have created quite a few, or our teachers have created quite a few mudras, or hand positions, in the Bowspring system. And one of them is called seed hands. And a lot of times we focus on how to get into the pose, how to get into the shape, how to create this position in the hands. And once you're there, then you have the hand position. But there's something about actually creating the seed pose, the seed hand, where as I extend and as I reach, you can kind of see my fingers curl one at a time. And in that process of creating seed hand, I am gathering tissues from all along my arm, all down my back, and allowing my heart to open even more. So it's not about seed hands and only seed hands, but more about the process of getting into the shape. Just as radiant heart isn't about puffing the ribs out and being there puffed up, but about pushing from the inside and in that effort to expand yourself from the inside, you become something more. You become a more enhanced version of yourself. 
So there's a really interesting thing that we can all contemplate, especially on a Wednesday, when all we're thinking about maybe is the weekend. What are we doing right now? What are we in transition? Every single one of us, no matter whether we know it or not, is in transition. Maybe we're just starting a new job or just had a baby or just getting out of a marriage or fill in the blank. Every single one of us is in transition. So if we can enjoy the journey, it's so cliche, isn't it? But think about every single step of the way, being able to actually see and almost quantify the growth that you've had, that is so much more, I think, successful and so much more exciting than getting to some end game and then being complete because we're never complete. We are always becoming something more. We are always growing into the next experience of ourself. And the postures that we aim for or the poses that we aim for can often become almost a distraction or even a disassociation to where we actually are now. Where we are now is pretty darn great. No matter how far we've come, no matter what we're doing right now, even if it feels like we're in the middle of this big tornado of life, where we are is so important to be able to access and, and acknowledge so that as we're moving into the next expression, which we are always doing, we're enjoying every step of the journey, every breath along the path that gets us to feel and experience a sense of growth in ourselves. So especially in the middle of this week today, I want you to sit and be quiet for a moment. Take, take a little bit of an inventory of exactly where you are and just be grateful for it and know that you are in transition. You are in this moment becoming a new version of yourself. And the next time you inhale arms up in your yoga class or the next time you wrap your arms around into a globe hands, let the action of moving into that space be what takes priority for you. Be what consumes your awareness so that you don't have to worry about the end game, but you are ultimately present every single moment with yourself, with your own experience, with your body, with your breath, with your mind, and that way you are in the ever-present moment, the ever-unfolding now. Tomorrow is tomorrow, but the beautiful thing is about that is that we never get to tomorrow. We are only here only ever in this present today, in the now. And in that, I know that I am in constant transition. I know that my mind is set on becoming the next version of myself. And so I get to celebrate the tiniest little victories, like doing a Facebook Live post, like putting myself out there, knowing that this is me becoming the next version of myself. And I don't necessarily know what that's gonna look like, but I know that I'm having fun along the way. I know that I love seeing hearts and thumbs ups and people join us, and I'm so excited to continue to grow and, and offer a path for myself, which is I'm right here exactly where I need to be, and I know that I'm becoming something great just as you are too. So take a moment, assess where you are, and if you can see, I'm kind of in the most beautiful place right now in Chicago, loving life, as I get to look out over the city every day when I wake up and come home from teaching. It's a blessed life, and I'm so excited to be able to watch the unfolding process of my own experience and know that you are all each in your own unfolding, and it's so beautiful. Share your story, have a comment, reach out to me, because I'm in the process of becoming too, and I know that as I see the people on Facebook and the people in my community and my friends and my family grow, I'm inspired to grow as well. And that's what we're all doing, expanding, growing, moving forward. We're not getting smaller, we're not getting shorter, we're not diminishing ourselves, we're not pulling back, we're expanding. And this is the time to push out and enjoy the ride every step of the way. Become who you've always wanted to be by acknowledging that you're on your way already. I love you much. As always, I will see you soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye.